How's it going, YouTubers? My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist, and I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio. And to talk, today, to talk to artists, um, I have other videos where I talk to interior designers, I talk to uh, art collectors, and other, other, uh, I guess, facets or people, you know, that 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 um, pertain to the art world. But today, I wanted to talk to, to uh, artists in particular. Um, maybe painters. I'm a painter myself, so maybe maybe some of you guys who paint or sculpt or whatever, appropriate it to whatever you do, I think it's all universal. Um, I want to talk to you about what to do when you're confused, right? You, you're not you're not sure where to move. I don't know where you are. Of course, you know, in your career or your business or or your project or whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you're doing a collection of art. Maybe you have a project, maybe you're doing a commission, maybe you're starting uh, to venture off on your own and you want to start your own business. Maybe you are ready to go into galleries and you don't know what to do. Uh, all of these scenarios, the different scenarios, maybe you're trying to open a, a website, right? And you're like, oh, where do I start? What do I do? I want to tell you something. Escape the trap of over-information. And over-information is so easy to fall into. You know, everybody tries to get information because it's so readily available. I'm here to be against that grain. Not that I think that information is bad, but it's like one of those things, you know, it's so, it's so available that it can hinder you if you're not careful. And it's not because the information is bad. It's because it could be a trap. It could be a fly trap. So one of the things that I've learned over, over years of, uh, practice <laughs> and in my professional career and my own art business is that when you are confused, first of all, first of all, before I go into that, what is to be confused, right? Before I even jump into that, when you, what is to be confused? You know, you're like, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. And I mentioned all these scenarios, right? So you have to dig into that. And, and I'm not talking about digging into it like, 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 uh, like uh, think about it, or <laughs> I don't know. No, just just look into it. Uh, you know, quick look into it. what is to be uh, confused. Really, it's very simple. I believe, right? This is my video, so <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> it's very simple. If you're confused, it's more than likely because you're saturated with information and you've gotten to the point where you don't trust your judgment. And if you don't trust your judgment, what happens is that you start procrastinating because you don't want, you see, you don't trust your judgment, right? You don't want the responsibility that comes from making maybe the wrong judge, the wrong decision from that, from that mistrust of judgment. So what you're really trying to escape is the responsibility of the decision you can make. And Really, the, 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 the reason, you know, the whole reason, if you step a couple of steps back, the whole reason is because you sat there and you thought about it. I believe that most of the things that go wrong in anyone's uh, career or art or whatever for that, you know, for, we're talking about art, so I'm going to stick here. <laughs> I think just about anywhere. It's because we sit there and we think about it. See, I'm training myself that when I get something in my head, I do it right there and then. I don't sit with it anymore. I don't go and I don't do research. I don't go and try to open it. This doesn't mean that it's bad to do research. This doesn't mean that it's bad to learn, to read books, and to take advice from the right people. That's another video. Please <laughs> check it out. <laughs> this doesn't mean that, that it's uh, there's anything wrong with that. You know, It, it, it has its time. Everything has its time and it's, you know, it's, you can do research and you can do all of that. What I'm talking about is when you're confused. When you're confused, what you need to do is stop. Stop the research and start making actions. This is the antidote to, to uh, being confused, okay? You can either do one or two things. Do nothing, which is very zen, okay? And that's also good. Do nothing. It's also fine, you know? Go, I, I don't I think it was in a... Men in Black movie, go have a, a slice of pie, okay? Go take a walk, I don't know. 
uh, don't do anything for a whole day. Don't think about it. Do something else, something completely different. You know, if you're a, a painter or whatever, go ride a bike. I don't know. Do something else, something that has nothing to do with painting or anything. That's also good. It's, it's, it, it cleans, you know, the slate. Uh, my, one of my preferences, that's when I'm really confused. I do that. When I'm mildly confused, and I'm talking about really confused as in, as in now emotionally confused, you know, I, I don't let myself get to that point anymore. It's, you know, it's very rare. But when that happens, I do take the walk. Um, the other one, the other approach, the more zen approach. What I'm here to tell you, though, is that most of the time you're not confused to that emotional level. It's just that you're confused and you're like, I don't know what to do, and you stop procrastinating. When that starts happening, what you need to start doing is making decisions. Take action. You thought about something? Oh, I'm going to go do that. Don't say, oh, yeah, that'd be great to do that. Oh, yeah. If there's, if there's no milk in the fridge and you saw that there's no milk in the fridge and you're like, oh, I need milk, jump on the car, jump on the you know, subway or the bus, whatever, go get that milk. Put it in the fridge. If you felt that the, that the room was dirty, go do that. Uh, many people would think that this is, this is not the right approach. You're like, no, go and do what you're supposed to do. You don't even know what you're supposed to do. You're so confused and so afraid. What I'm trying to get you to do is to start moving, start, taking this, start making decisions and start taking action. When you're confused, if you, if you realize this, you stop making decisions and you stop taking actions and one of the reasons you stop taking actions of course is because of course you're confused but it's because now you're afraid of taking the wrong making the wrong making the wrong action right and getting the wrong uh receiving the wrong thing right out of your action the reciprocating the you know you know what i mean <laughs> so so what you want to do is just start making action Taking decisions, one little decisions. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm going to go sell my house. No, little decisions, you know. But get yourself into that groove of making decisions, so that you can start taking some action. Even it doesn't matter whether it's like, oh, I got to water the garden, blah blah blah. But don't go and sit there and go like, oh, I'm going to go research about it. No, this is time to stop researching. Research is researching. <laughs> English is my second language, so <laughs> you'll hear me here and there, coming up, making up words. This is a time to stop uh, uh, asking for advice or to journal. You don't want to do any of that. What you want to do is put the book down. Yes, you're confused. It doesn't matter. Stop, start mopping. Start cleaning your studio. Move. You need to move. When, when you have that, that thing that you're confused, it's because you're not moving. And, and you start becoming kind of like a... a a piece of furniture. Now you just start looking and witnessing, and and it's not the Zen type of witnessing. You know, it's not the Zen type of looking where you're in awe. You're 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 afraid and confused. You know, you're like, oh, if I take that step, you start creating scenarios. You're like, no, 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 no. I already made. All you've done is create all this movement, but it's only in your head, and it's all and it's all scenarios. And it's my belief that 99.9% .9 of them are lies. And they look so real because you've manipulated all the scenarios around it. <laughs> and you tell yourself, if I go here and there, this is going to happen. If I do this and that, that's going to happen. So you go so far ahead where now you won't move because, oh, you figure it out, you know. You figure it out. You know, you, you know what's going to happen. You know every scenario. So what's the point of doing anything wrong? Wrong. The point of doing anything is you get up and do it. All your scenarios are BS. What counts? It's your action. Your action will show you actually different scenarios that you were not even aware of. Or your action will show that you're that you if that you are closer or that you know or you, you get inspiration, as I mentioned in another, in another video about inspiration. Your action gets you into that. So again, if you're confused, this is the antidote. Two, right? One, get zen about it. If you're really confused and emotionally confused, get zen about it. Rest. Rest the mind. Go do something else. Go eat a piece of pie. Two, if you're, if you're not that really badly emotionally confused, but you're confused where the point, to the point where you're, you're like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, um, you know, I'm just going to go out and drink or, or smoke a cigarette or I don't know, do any of those silly things that we do when we're overthinking. Uh, start taking action. Action. It's what's going to get you through it. 
It's action. It's only action. Now, here's another thing before I explore log out. <laughs> don't, don't judge the action. Let it be stupid. Let it be mediocre. Let it be whatever. Don't judge it. Here, a lot of us are overthinkers when we're artists. I don't know why. This creative aspect of us allows us to be, yes, yeah, beautiful. You know, we, 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 we can visualize things, but we become overthinkers. And then what happens is that we become uh, stagnant and we can't move. You know, we become these idiots that can't move. All we're doing is just visualizing and imagining and scenarios. And, but it, it's meaningless if you don't move. You know, if you don't create action, it's meaningless. So don't judge the action. That's another thing, okay? So when, when it's time to take action, don't sit there and go, well, yeah, I mean, what, what would be my best action? No, wrong again. I'm so glad I caught this one before I turned this one off. Don't. Any action is the perfect action, but you got to start moving. I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist, and, man, I got some good advice for you guys.